Leader Instruments welcomes you to our presentation on how to utilize waveform monitors in order to maximize your high definition camera performance. With the switch over to digital broadcasting in 2009, high definition is becoming more popular for any content creation. It is crucial to understand how to get the best possible footage results. More and more movies and TV shows are now being shot in HD format. Don't be left behind. Just like with film, without the proper understanding of lighting, color conditions, and exposure, you could be literally left in the dark. In order to master these variables, it is highly recommended that you understand and utilize a waveform monitor for optimal results. The color monitors can look different depending on how much light reflects on the screen or how the monitor was calibrated. This video will give you a brief background of how Leader Instruments waveform monitors works in conjunction with any HD camera. Let's get started. Pre-production. Whether you are an experienced DP or lighting director in the film industry, there are certain things you need to know before embarking on an HD production. If you are renting HD camera equipment, there are specific things you should check using a waveform monitor and a proper grayscale chart and color chart. Let me show you how this works. First of all, I would like to briefly explain why the waveform monitor plays such an important role in HD production. Because HD cameras process images with chips that transform light into electric signals. The tapes, memory cards, or hard drives record the signal digitally as zeros and ones. Simply put, Waveform monitors show you exactly what you're recording in various forms, such as waveform, vectorscope, status, and so on, allowing you to detect the slightest possible errors, which is something that cannot be done on a regular HD color monitor. So as I mentioned before, always check your settings before you begin, especially if you rent the equipment, because you can't be sure the last user set the camera up properly. It's always better to be safe than sorry. Now I'm going to show you the various ways the waveform monitor can assist you to accurately set up your HD camera. Checking black and white levels with the waveform function. Black and white balance is very important because video camera interprets light as RGB and correct white or black consists of the same level of R, G, and B when seen on the waveform monitor. If these levels were not correct, all the colors in the frame would be off. When checking the black and white levels on your HD camera, use the waveform monitor as a precision tool. The following setup is recommended by one of the camera manufacturers in the industry. You should consult your lens and camera manufacturers for the best possible accuracy. First, place the camera 10 feet away from grayscale chart. Then, light the chart evenly at 200 foot candle. Make sure you use the light with a color temperature of 3200K. Now, set the gain to zero and set the iris to F8 and frame the chart accordingly. Now, go inside your camera menu and turn off the knee and clip for an exact measurement. Clipping. Clipping is a form of distortion that limits a signal once it exceeds a threshold. Clipping is seen as desaturated bright areas that turn to pure white if all color components clip. Knee. Knee allows a signal to be recorded optimally on a medium with more limited dynamic range than the source signal. Once you've set the white balance with the correct white balance card with the standard 89.9% .9 of reflection, you should then refer to your waveform monitor. 
The standard 16 by 9 chart consists of gray scale from black to white. With the monitor, you'll be able to determine if the crucial black and white values are correct. If the setting is correct, the waveform monitor should look something like this. Notice how the white area of the gray scale is at 100%. The hole in the center represents pure black, which can be checked by opening and closing the iris on your camera. The hole in the center should remain at the bottom even after opening the iris about 30% more than its original position. Just to clarify that 30% means the value of luminance. If the black level starts going up while opening the iris, that means your lens flare is off. If this occurs, go to the menu inside your camera and turn lens flare on. Another element you can check is your gamma. Gamma is the name of the non-linear operation used to code and decode luminance or tristimulus values in video or still image systems. While most cameras have a default gamma of 0.45, most cameras today, even the small prosumer models, allow you to adjust the gamma to uniquely stylized results. So to make sure, gamma is at 0.45 once again, refer to your waveform monitor. If the steps across the screen reveal a straight line, this means your gamma is set correctly at 0.45. Again, you should be able to adjust this in your camera menu mode. In the event that you are planning on changing the gamma to several presets provided by the camera manufacturers, it is still highly recommended that you start from the default value and tweak it from there. Now, assuming that you have correctly adjusted your luminance, it is time to go back into your camera menu and turn on me and clip. Checking the color value with vector scope. To check the color value, we will be using the same setup procedure as the previous test, but this time we will be using a different chart. We will check the chrominance or color value with a vector scope. This is how it's supposed to look when your camera's color matrix is correct. If these settings have been modified, it may look like this or this. Whether you go with the default color settings or make adjustments totally depends on what you are preparing to shoot. Commercials tend to use saturated color, and as you've probably noticed, many digital cinema and TV shows have their own preferred color theme. Whether you may want to alter the color value before shooting or if you would rather deal with that in post-production is entirely up to you. Regardless, utilizing a vector scope is still a step that shouldn't be skipped if you want to avoid catastrophe later on down the production line. Production. Waveform monitors are not only a pre-production tool, they are also equally useful during production. If you're familiar with light meters, we encourage you to use one. In fact, many DPs still rely on light meters in film and HD production. However, it is important to note that a light meter measures what's coming through the lenses, while a waveform monitor actually measures exactly what is being processed and recorded inside the camera. This means that if one or more of your camera settings are set incorrectly, the light meter wouldn't be able to detect it and the footage could be jeopardized. When using the waveform monitor, you can immediately and accurately display what results will look like. As mentioned earlier in this video, understanding the limitations of luminance values in the HD format is crucial in any situation. This section takes a closer look at monitoring errors and avoiding mistakes of over and under exposure in various shooting conditions.
CineLite and CineZone. Before we conclude this video, we wanted to mention two more amazing and useful functions of the Waveform Monitor. CineLite and CineZone are two extremely useful features that are built into Leader Instruments Waveform Monitors. These tools allow you to monitor luminance using a pinpoint process with surgical accuracy. When monitoring luminance values using a waveform monitor, either in your setup or in post-production, it's hard to determine exactly which area is being measured on the monitor. Using CineLite, you are able to know these variables instantly. CineLite allows you to pinpoint the cursor directly on the screen, measuring any area of value you want to, including skin tone, highlights, or shadow detail. CineLite measures luminance in f-stop or percentage value, as well as chrominance in RGB mode. This function is especially useful when shooting chroma key backgrounds. The other feature is called CineZone. CineZone shows the luminance value with color. It works exactly like a thermograph, the dark area starting with blue to the bright area with red. By default, anything above 100% becomes white and anything below 0% becomes black. Another great feature is it also allows you to adjust the borderline for the best monitoring results. This feature lets you see how much black, white, and gray area you have inside the frame easily, helping you to create a beautiful image with depth in luminance and color. Now that you have been introduced to the vital tools and production solutions that Leader Instruments Waveform Monitors has to offer, your HD production results will be more precise, professional, and consistent. Production invites enough challenges as it is, and with the Waveform Monitor, you can spend less time on technical issues and more time creating great footage and accomplishing your production vision to the end. Thank you for taking the time to learn about the Waveform Monitor by Leader Instruments.